Hey y'all, it's Angel Aura. Yes, I cried last night, part two. Since I did that video, I did some research and what I get from that is when you're when you're manifesting things to come into your life and you're working on the next level of your life, the first thing that is going to happen is an identity shift. So for those of you who may not know what that is or what that's like, you're going to go through somewhat of a transformation. And it's not just physical, it's internal. You begin to take on habits of the person that you want to be. Whatever you are working towards, whatever you are looking to manifest, 3D is always going to be the last thing to show up. But the first thing that you will see is an internal manifestation of your new self. Now, in no way am I telling you to be someone that you're not. For example, if you want to be a, a millionaire, you are going to have to separate yourself from old habits that are not going to prepare you to be that millionaire that million dollars is not just going to show up. The next day when you wake up, it's not just gonna be a bunch of M's in your bank account. But working towards that, you are going to have that internal shift first. And that helped me realize that although I'm trying to climb the ladder of success, there are a lot of differences and manifestations that I have seen internally within me. That is how I know that I'm on the right track. And when this happens to you, this is how you know you are on the right track. Your old self will try to come back, but you have to stay the course. You have to remind yourself what your goal is. You have to remind yourself, I'm this new person now. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to have. No matter how many times your old self tries to come in and persuade you to stay the same, you cannot do that because then you're, you're going back to old habits. It's not going to serve you. Let go of the things that do not serve you. This right here is the prime example of the video that I put up about the seven stages of spiritual alchemy. It sounded like a bunch of jibber jabber <laughs> for people who are not familiar with it, but I want to give you guys a raw and uncut example of what spiritual alchemy looks like. And if you watch that video, which I'll place the link up here, you will understand what spiritual alchemy looks like in your own life. I am not afraid to say that I'm not perfect. I am not afraid to say that I am not exactly where I want to be in my life. And even when I get to where I want to be in my life, I'm going to want to go higher and higher and higher. And everybody has aspirations to be their higher selves. This spiritual journey, this spiritual growth, Spiritual alchemy is an ongoing process. You're not just going to get there and think that, it's, that that's it. It's a one and done deal. It doesn't work that way. You have to go through these things. And allow yourself to feel those things. Don't be afraid. Because when you come out on the other side, it's going to be well worth the ride. I should add that if any of you want to talk, if any of you want to let me know what's going on, feel free to reach out to me. My Instagram is posted in the description box below. I am starting a membership on YouTube as well. If you haven't seen part one, please go there and look at that so that you can get the full picture. <laughs> and be sure to check out the seven stages of spiritual alchemy as well and see where you are in that process. I will see you guys next time. Bye.